Okay guys, so today uh, we're going to do something a little different, um, set up to do screencast recordings now, uh, and I want to check out one of my favorite plugins, the Two Notes Torpedo Wall of Sound 3. Uh, I hesitated on doing this now because I know they're beta testing uh, version 4, which I'm really stoked about. Um, but we'll do a sort of overview today and then I'll go and do some more specific reviews on like um, all the different cab uh, settings that I have and stuff and another one on whatever updates come in uh, V4. Uh, so basically this plugin is my go-to for guitar recording at this point uh, whether it's like recording riff ideas for songs or demo stuff uh, it's really really top-notch there's a lot of functionality um, and this is basically one piece of the larger recording setup that I have now where uh, I'm doing silent guitar recording uh, but I'm still using real guitar uh, amps uh, and basically then I just run those into my Sur reactive load box from there into my interface uh, and then I'm using the uh, wall of sound plugin to handle cab emulation. Uh, so a quick overview. Uh, basically you get one month uh, free all the cabs that they have after 30 days you get two of them for free to keep and then you can use this uh, little store thing here to buy cabs uh, individually they're pretty reasonably priced I think uh, US they're around like eight or nine dollars per cab uh, and also which is really cool the first time you make a purchase they actually give you 25% off your whole order uh, and I definitely <laughs> took advantage of that um, you can go through you can filter stuff by guitar um, you know 412 212s you can try everything out um, you know these are real cabs that they have uh, mic'd up in the studio and um, you can go through and basically find everything you could possibly need in here um, I have a decent amount at this point. Uh, you get this little 3D room. You can actually move the mic around um, in this little visual area here, or you can control it with these knobs. You can mic the back of the cab, which is really cool for sort of second layering stuff. Um, right here, you can choose your mic. They have a lot of really famous mic um, options for each cab. They vary a little bit from cab to cab. Um, Let's see, there's a power amp section. I don't really use this. This is really interesting, the different tubes uh, that you can select. Maybe if you're running a bass DI into here, something without a head, that might be something you'd be interested in. I don't really use it. Um, you can save your presets. Uh, you have some low cut stuff, some EQ, uh, some compression uh, within the plugin. Uh, and then down here, uh, you basically, you know, you can have actually multiple cabs uh, on the same track and can pan them and adjust volume as you would like, which is uh, really easy to get carried away with as a guitar player. You know, I'm always into like huge sounding guitars. Um, so I usually uh, stack cabs on here uh, to a ridiculous point. Uh, and Brian, uh, my friend that you know from the channel as well, uh, is always saying, you know, Alex get a good sound with one and then go from there so I've been trying to cut back but you know it's just so fun uh, at the end of the day to mess with um, one thing that I will say about version 3 is sometimes the visual display of the cab there's like some sort of bug in there so like when you click between the two cabs like on this side I have like a sort of deluxe uh, 112 and over here I have a uh, sort of Mesa 412 and right now it's working when you jump back but sometimes when you jump through uh, it stays on the other cab but I know that's one thing that they're definitely gonna have fixed in version 4 when it comes out so I'm stoked for that okay so uh, let's give this a whirl this is a tr uh, little riff idea that I've kinda just messing around with here in Logic uh, you know I have some uh, drummer samples here uh, and then I have a bass track and, and some uh, rhythm and uh, clean distorted and uh, some lead stuff guitar wise here um, 
this the guitars are tuned to uh, C standard with the dropped E string, uh, so it is a little lower than the stuff that I normally do. Um, so that's just one thing to point out in case you notice it. Uh, but let's give a listen uh, for a sec here. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I basically just um, recorded some stuff to mess around with here, and uh, with very little effort, it sounds pretty good for not uh, any kind of like proper mixing or anything. Um, so let's dig in a little. Uh, let's look at this clean stuff here. <clears throat> So if we open up our plugin, I do have a little bit of compression uh, on here as well. <clears throat> so on this, I have just the one cab. Uh, let's put this pan up to the center. Actually, I also need to do it here. So I have things running pretty hot, um, but let's go around. So that's sort of 6% uh, um, distance wise away from the speaker and then about 5% off axis from the center of the speaker mic wise um, I'm using this uh, ribbon 121 mic here uh, let's give this a go through some of the mics <laughs> the 57 my favorite mic to hate <clears throat> okay let's get back to our 121 here uh, now let's see what happens when we sort of go and move the mic around <laughs> cool thing is uh, taking a second track or, or a second cab at least uh, and miking the back. Let's check that out. Uh, pretty cool to add some sort of depth on there. Um, let's see, we kind of set this back. Uh, wink. Actually, I didn't want to do that. Let's come back to the deluxe. Let's move this off of here. Let's come over here. Let's get another deluxe. And let's set this guy to the back. Pull that off of here. Okay, I'll pan both of these. Okay, so now we have one cab set up uh, that's panned hard to the right from the back and one that's panned uh, to the left normally. Let's hear the normal one first. Jeez, uh, why is that not making any sound? Here we go. Now let's add uh, the back. Pull the volume back. 
back a little on the rear. Yeah, I mean, sounds pretty good. Um, take this guy off. Bring this back up to center. <clears throat> Uh, so now we can actually take that same tone. Um, let's see what other cabs I have. This is the Dark Prince. Uh, this was based on a Blackface 64 pre-CBS uh, 110. Um, <clears throat> Different mics on that guy. Um, let's see. Also, do even like a sort of AC30 style. <laughs> different uh, you could check out like a Marshall 412 1960a see so it's definitely more bottom end there um, you could even try a orange 412 Definitely a lot more bottom end. We could actually bring this guy back, um, do a pair, do a nice uh, little combo here with um, the orange and show you sort of the two cab thing. That's pretty cool. Um, I mean, there's just so many different cabs, like just the ones that I have alone. Um, these guys, Orange 212, two different Voxes, uh, the Super, a couple different Marshalls, one with green backs. Um, this is based on a Freedman. There's another weird sort of Marshall-y one. Um, standard uh, 810 okay let's actually revert give this a second to load back up okay uh, let's try something a little more distorted and come in here is a sort of distortion track. Okay. So let's have a look. Um, so for this section, I'm using this Bayou 212, which I really like. Um, it This was loaded with the uh, Eminence Patriot Swamp thing. Um, good bottom end, sustained, powerful, chunky sound. Um, never played uh, the Swamp Things uh, in person, but uh, as far as this um, cabin two notes, I really like. Uh, let's check that out. Pull this back again to center-ish. Pan this back to center. And that helped to solo this. Okay, so let's uh, we'll probably hear more difference as we uh, scroll through the different mics here. Let's pull this a little bit off, give it a little room to breathe there. <laughs>
And certainly if we pan this back, I think that's where it was, yep. I can actually solo both of these tracks. <laughs> So now what you just heard is that Bayou 212 uh, on the left and then on the right a uh, Marshall 1960A cab, 4% um, and 4%, uh, really sounds great together. <laughs> okay, so lastly for this short video, um, we can check out some of the bass track I guess um, okay so for this one I am using Amplitube uh, the SVT classic plugin which I really like um, but I'm not using the cab from there I'm using the cab from here which is just the uh, sort of Ampeg uh, 810 style with the um, dynamic bass 20 mic okay Definitely get the low end on that mic. <clears throat> okay. Come back down to this guy. So yeah, basically that's, you know, the general overview. You can certainly mess with, uh, like, compression and stuff in here if you want uh, to sort of deal with that internally in here. Um, and I look forward to doing more demos to really dig into all the specific cabs that I have. Uh, I definitely plan on buying a lot more. Um, yeah, and I'm really stoked for version 4 to come out, and I'll definitely do one uh, whenever that comes out so we can check out uh, all the stuff they've changed. Thanks, guys.